In today's video, we're going to create this COVID-19 app design in Figma. This is something that I just made up on the spot, and I'm going to take you through the whole process of how I created this UI. If you haven't heard of me before, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development, so if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and let's just jump straight into it. We're going to design this COVID-19 app in Figma, and we're going to start off by creating an empty frame. We're going to make this a regular iPhone frame. So let's hit the one here for an iPhone Pro. What we're going to do is import some assets I actually created earlier, and they're just here on the side. I'm going to import them by dragging them into Figma, and we'll have a number of them here. And what I want to do is reuse some of these so that we can put into our design. We've got a couple of different things here. We've got some subtle effects here for um, our COVID app. We've got a sick, sick person here. So we're just going to put this right here into the middle. And then we've got a couple of cool little icons here at the bottom. And we can use these to essentially improve our design a little bit. We'll see how we can utilize these, but essentially we'll want to be able to create some elements here where it's giving people information about how they can take care of themselves in this current situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of objects here. I'm going to add maybe a rectangle here and this one, I'm going to reuse some of the coloring we have from these icons. I'm going to select this transparent grayish color here in the back. And what I might do is I might just put it through most of our design here and place it a little bit below our layer. Then what we can do is create one more layer on top of this. And this is where one of our selected items will be. So let's create a white version and give it a border radius of maybe about 15 pixels or so. We'll just expand this out a little bit and we'll put some text and information in here. So what we might want to do is select the text item and we'll want to give it maybe some things such as preventative measures. So let's put that in. Preventative pre preventative measures. Beautiful. We'll increase this font size a little bit and maybe we'll also make it a little bit uh, heavier in terms of our font weight. And we can put that in just over here. We'll make sure that its spacing is just about right so that we can make sure that it fits in well. Uh, let's see how many pixels we'll do. We'll maybe do 20 pixels from the top. And this item here can be 20 pixels from the right or maybe even 15 pixels from the right. And we'll give it maybe 15 pixels from the top of that text element. So that's looking good. Then we might give it a different color. Black isn't fitting in very well. So we might go with that very dark purple. That looks pretty good. And finally, we might give it a bit of a border here at the top, just so that people realize it's a different section. So with this one, I'm just going to give it another version of that really dark border. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we'll do something different. Maybe we'll give it a lighter shade in this case. So let's see what other shades we have here. Um, that's one example. The yellow doesn't really look like it's working very well. So we might just go for a slightly darker tint. Maybe let's have a look what we can play around with here. So that I think looks okay. We might change that up a little bit later, but for now, I think that's okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put in this icon here. We're going to put it above and this icon here will represent the very first thing that we want to do. And in terms of preventative measures, we want to make sure that people are wearing masks. So we're going to show an example here of a person sneezing and maybe we'll do something like an arrow. And this arrow here can point to this next person here, which has a mask on. And that just essentially shows that you should also wear a mask if you're going out in public and seeing people. And that way you're helping other people be healthy. So let's put that in here. And the next thing I want to do is for this item here, I want to make sure it's an arrow. So I'm going to create another thing here, a polygon. And we're just going to create this as an arrow. We're going to give it the same color that we've set earlier. And we're just going to rotate it a little bit just so that it can essentially sit here at the top of our element. And we'll just resize this just down a little bit. Maybe we'll do it four pixels 
Uh, we'll put the text arrow just in here. And that should be just about right. We'll also need to give it give it some text. So maybe uh, uh, if uh, uh, sneezing is bad, I don't know, um, wear a face mask. That seems reasonable. Uh, let's give that a bit of a color here. I'm thinking maybe a uh, yellow slash orange tint and we'll decrease the font size a little bit. Uh, this way we can put it just over here. So that's looking good. And we can give it maybe some um, stop the spread as subtext, which we can make even lighter. We might just give this a very light shade with a regular font weight and maybe a size of say 14 pixels. So that's example one of a preventative measure. And we could do another example such as maybe washing your hands. So let's do that as another example of a preventative measure. Let's move this across and just make sure it's well spaced here in our example. Let's copy over some of the elements that we've created here in this example. We might group them all together and just copy them below. That way, whoops, uh, let's select those again. So I'm just gonna uh, select each one here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down Alt and just move them down below. And I've missed one element there. So let's just move these all to the side for the time being. And what I wanna do is I'll just select each one of these manually hold down Alt and we can drag them below. We'll give them about 15 pixels of spacing here. And in this case, maybe we'll do wash your hands. Uh, keep clean. Great, and in here we'll remove this image and we'll put the image here in for this little COVID looking icon. So this shows that, you know, you might have dirty hands. And in this one, we'll pass in that you essentially need to wash your hands to get rid of that because that's an important thing to do. So there's two preventative measures. I uh, don't really like this icon here at the top, but what we might do now is have a look at how we can stylize this to have another section here. So these are our preventative measures. Let's put in some other things. Maybe um, we can do some symptoms this time. So I'm gonna copy over this section that we created earlier and we're gonna do a reverse of that. In this case, it'll be our symptoms. Let's do a different shade this time. Maybe we'll do this shade here and we'll give it a very light color. And what we'll do is we'll select some other variations of this shade to show that this is going to be a different section. We're gonna do here uh, symptoms. Symptoms, great. Now, uh, I suppose for this section, it's gonna be a little bit different because of how it works. We're not gonna have all these additional icons. So what I might do in this case is just get rid of all of that and we'll get rid of all of these as well. Instead, we'll have maybe a larger section. Maybe this one will be something like hmm, 175 pixels or so. And we can do a bigger icon for this as well. So maybe that's a little bit too big. Let's reduce that down a little bit. And what we can do in this section is do a large version of a symptom because the symptom because these are pretty important. You want to be aware if you have these. So here we'll do coughing. Nothing. Great. And we'll make this a little bit larger, maybe 24 pixels, maybe even a little bit larger, maybe 36 pixels there. And underneath we'll write in a little bit of information such as uh, dry cough. Um, what else would that be? Uh, let's make this section as well a little bit darker. So I'm thinking maybe, uh, let's see what shades we have here. I think this dark shade of gray is good. And we'll make this font size a little bit bigger as well. So we'll pass that in here as a item. So we've got dry coughing and then um, 
Come to think of it, this section does look a little bit too big. So I'm going to reduce it down a little bit. And maybe we'll do this as a bunch of items, which can be slightly bigger or smaller. So here I might put it actually at the top and we'll put in dry cough. Uh, what else should we put? Um, sneezing. I think sneezing might be a separate section altogether, but we'll do dry cough. Um, symptom and maybe we'll just center this actually let's see how we can play around with this so that it looks good i think that looks okay so we can leave it as is and we'll do another example of that let's copy that across here and we'll give it 15 pixels of spacing similar to our other one and here we'll do maybe um sneezing and in this one, um, just go, what sh shall we do for sneezing? Maybe sne sneezing, oh, temperature as well, but we'll, we'll stick with sneezing for now. Sneezing a lot. <laughs> Make sure I spell that correctly. All right. So we've got two examples here. They're not perfectly centered just yet, but that's looking a little bit better. Uh, and now we can move on, I suppose. We can actually uh, put the symptoms up above maybe and the preventative measures below. So let's let's give that a test and see how that looks. So let's let's copy that all across down here. And then maybe we'll give this whole section a large nice, nice large title of COVID-19 measures. And let's make this a little bit bigger and a little bit uh, heavier of a font. So maybe 36 pixels here. And what we can do is center this very nicely here. Give it a slightly different color. Maybe I like this purple that we're using before. That'll sit in well with the design we have. And we'll move this slightly above. And then maybe we'll give it some subtext here below. So this subtext can be a different shade. Um, prepare, Asian maybe, preparation. Preparation and prevention. That sounds all right, let's, let's put that in. So preparation and prevention. And we'll give this a slightly more off shade maybe. So I'm just gonna do a a lighter shade or tint of that and we'll paste that here so that's looking okay and finally i suppose we could make these sections a little bit more interesting um there's a few ways we could do that but i'm gonna get rid of the rest of the stuff we have here and what we might do is maybe give them a bit of a swirly property i don't know um let's see what different things we can do. I'm going to use the pencil tool here. I'm just going to pass in a couple of variables. Let's have a look. Let's give it uh, a little wave like that maybe. Yeah, maybe something like that. Let's do that. Great. I think that's closed in. Let's just make sure that's closed in. Great. And for that, we'll make sure that it's got that same background we're using previously. So we'll get rid of the stroke. We're not using the stroke, but we do want to fill. And here's our fill color for that. Great. So I'm just going to move that down here. So that looks good. We could make be make that a little bit bigger. So that way it sort of blends into our section there. And then we could copy this down below and we can create another version of that. So in this case, it might use that purple color and it sort of blends in there. Uh, in this case, hmm, that second one, I'm not sure if the, it's blending very well, maybe because it's it needs some more padding there. So what I might do is I might move this section down a little bit like that and give this section a little bit more room to breathe so it flows in a little bit better so now we've got this section we've got this section 
Uh, and we're almost done. So that's looking pretty good. We can add a couple of other things to make this a little bit more interesting, such as some box shadows. So for example, what we could do is we could create a box shadow under this section. Uh, so let's do effect shadow. And usually for the shadow, I only like a little bit. So maybe 12% and we'll give it more blur, maybe 15 pixels on the X axis and five pixels offset. So that looks cool. It seems to pop out of the page a little bit there. Let's apply that same effect here. So I'm gonna just pass in 15 pixels and five and 12. So it's got a little bit of bounce there from the page and we could probably apply that same sort of a shadow um, over to these elements here. So let's do that as well. 12, 15, five and we'll put it in here as well. So let's remove this. That's not what I'm after, box shadow, 15, 5, 12. Great, so we've got our COVID-19 app done. This was a quick example of how you can create something like this in Figma. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Designing this COVID-19 app design in Figma was really fun. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.